Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your daily love messages. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is going on with you guys. What do you need to know regarding love? What is coming towards you? And the overall messages for you regarding a love situation that you may currently be in or something that's getting ready to come towards you. Alright guys, but before we get started, please keep in mind that this is a collective reading so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. My readings are timeless general love readings as well, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. If you are a new or a returning subscriber, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This actually helps me connect with you all energetically, and it helps with the growth of the channel. And if this reading resonated with you and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below. And as always, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. Alrighty, Collective, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, what are the overall messages here regarding love for my Collective Universe? Overall messages regarding love for my Collective. I love these cards, but man, it is so hard for me to juggle. I mean, juggle. What am I saying? <laughs> Shuffle these cards. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see here. I Okay. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. And rest relaxation is an essential we all have fundamental need to take a break all right guys so collective i feel that for a lot of my collectives here the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye guys you have been going through something in a situation that um you may currently be in or a situation that you may currently be in separation with. But there is a lot that was going on in that relationship. A lot of, I want to say, misunderstandings. And you're being told at this moment, it is time for you to rest, to relax, to rejuvenate. You are really needing this time right now. I'm getting this energy right now where someone is just at the end of their wits. Like, they're, they've been through so much already in a situation here. And there is, like, there is, I feel that there's still more and more information coming out on a daily basis. And you're at the point where, like, enough is enough already. I'm done dealing with this situation. I'm done dealing with this problem. It is time for me to get to, get back to what i love which is myself start resting and relax relaxing start rejuvenating start taking care of myself take a break from this crazy nonsense that you've been dealing with and it's time for you to walk away from a situation you may be in a relationship where you did so much work to keep this relationship going you did everything that you could to keep this person happy but at the end of the day it might have not been enough it might have not been enough. And your daily message today or your daily love message today is for you. For you to fall back, for you to rest, for you to rejuvenate, for you to really be able to tap into that energy and take care of you. Stop taking care of the rest of the world. Stop worrying about everybody else and start worrying about yourself. Because truth be told, at the end of the day, ain't nobody else going to worry about us but us. Okay? messages here from my collective universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians yeah ace of pentacles oh my god really guys the strength in the reverse someone is completely 100 percent over it and tired already four cups here you're not even looking at any missed opportunities you're not looking back you're at this you're at this point where maybe somebody ran away from you in the past but now you're the one that's doing the running with the ace of pentacles here you're seeking for a stable a situation i don't even think you're looking for a stable relationship what you're really looking for is to have your own stability your own tranquility your own peace of mind you've been dealing with someone who has had you stuck for quite a bit someone that um that didn't put any effort to heal the situation someone that didn't even care enough to look out and uh, look 
look behind and see if you were okay, if you needed anything, if you even needed a sip of, of, of water or something. Like you were dealing with someone who was all about them and no one else but them. You gave everything that you had. For some of you guys, you gave, you, you used your savings. Every single check that came in, you gave it to this person. And it was because you were really in this energy of trying to build a future with this person, investing with this person. And at the end of the day, this person did nothing but just take advantage of you. And you are so over the situation. There is much more that continues coming to the light here with the heart the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye there is a lot of information that is coming at you on a daily basis and it's concerning regarding this person you're being told to walk away from this situation for right now just get away from this it's too much confusion it's too much drama you may be dealing with someone who ran away from the connection someone who possibly even ran away with your money with your life savings someone who took advantage of your kindness Someone that thought that they were going to get away with shit and got caught up. You're, you're just, you're wanting to move away from this situation. You're really wanting to cut off any form of communication with someone here. You've made decisive decisions here with the judgment. Some of you guys may have contacted an attorney I'm getting here. Um, you need some legal advice in regards to a possible separation here or a divorce. Um, but overall, I feel that if you did contact someone in regards to a legal matter, it's because you're probably thinking about going back towards this person and retrieving as much as you can from the money that you borrowed this person. This person possibly even drained your savings and you're wanting to get back as much as you can. You had a lot of love for this person. You gave this person your whole heart. You gave them everything of you. But as time was passing by, you started losing that love for that person and you started carrying some resentment. Some of you guys just recently found out that this person that you were in a higher level commitment had a third party situation some of you guys this person may even had a family elsewhere they were leading a double life they were doing everything that they could to keep you um closed off from whatever they were up to with the ten of wands here it was a lot of burdens here with this person there was a lot going on again some of you guys you could have been the one that was legally married to this person but they could have been having children with another person totally dealing um leading a double life here someone that that didn't respect your vows didn't respect your relationship at the beginning of the relationship yeah they were all in they were willing to work on it they were willing to make the situation last and be a forever thing but as time time passed this person just took advantage of your kindness and it's time for you to turn your back to the situation guys don't look at at this as a missed opportunity on the contrary look at this as a hidden blessing with the three of wands here it's someone turning their back from all this sadness from all this sorrow and actually looking out beyond the bullshit looking at the possibilities of what's coming towards them looking at they can run away from this situation or walk away from the situation with your head held up high and really go on an adventure move away from this situation with this very unstable individual some of you guys may be um earth signs here but you are in this energy right now where you're taking control. You are in both your feminine and your masculine energy here. You're taking control of a situation. As the Queen of Pentacles here, the Queen of Pentacles is a very loyal, nurturing individual. Where the King of Pentacles is very, um, as well, very loyal, but at the same time, very stern, straight to the point, a supportive leader. And I feel that you're taking on both these roles because, again, you may have been married to this person. You may have had children with this person. And as this person has exited your life, you've been taking on the role of mother and father. So you're in this energy where you're being both divine feminine and divine masculine. But it's because you know that you have to take control of your situation. With the chariot here, you guys are planning to move. You may be thinking about relocating um maybe even purchasing a new car but just overall moving forward and moving away from the situation that has caused you so many burdens with the five of wands where you felt that every day was a non-stop argument with this person with the five of swords you're ready to walk away from this deceptive energy this person that lied that stole from you with the three of pentacles in the reverse you're definitely making a decision to no longer put any more work or energy or effort into the situation and with the moon here even though you're afraid to take this leap of faith even though you're afraid to take this journey because this time you will be taking it alone this is going to be only you and your children at this point god is telling you 
divine is telling you with the moon here don't be afraid take that leap of faith because the leap of faith that awaits you everything that's getting ready to come towards you is victory okay don't be afraid of the unknown don't be afraid of what's going on or what can come towards you in the very near future take this leap of faith because all that awaits you at the other side of you taking this leap of faith is victory victory and stability ace of pentacles some of you guys will be coming into money apart from the fact of whatever this person owes you judgment will be brought in your behalf and you will be getting the money that this person owes you on top of that some of you guys are coming into some type of inheritance some type of winning but there's some a windfall of money that's coming towards you for all of you guys is you just have a wonderful career a wonderful job where you make a lot of money you're gonna be fine you don't need to worry about dealing with this person anymore it's time for you to pull away from this situation i just heard a nervous breakdown you got to get away from this this person is causing you a lot of pain a lot of stress a lot of sleepless nights and you got to get it together you cannot let a person like this come in here and ruin or destroy you after everything that you have done you got to continue moving forward you may have children that are very dependent on you on their age and you got to be in your fullest to be able to take care of your kids let this person go because what goes around comes around everything in this world you karma's a bitch you will pay everything you whatever you do onto others will come back to you and you're he's gonna he or she are gonna pay pay their debt that they have towards you but in the meanwhile right now it's time for you to rest it's time for you to relax it's really time for you to focus on yourself leave the situation in the past whatever continues coming out let it continue coming out because at the end of the day it's time for you to get back to what you love and that is you all right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you need. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. You guys have a good one. Bye.